Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you about the manifestation of satanic occupation bearing stolen jewels. Jeffrey Leon, welcome to this edition of Satan Strategic Command, dedicated to the advancement of Christian theology, explicating the mark of the beast. May God bless the reading of his holy word. Revelation chapter 17, verse 1 through 6. And there came one of the seven angels, which had the seven vials, and talked with me, saying unto me, Come hither, I will show unto thee the judgment of the great harlot that sitteth upon many waters, with whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication, and the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication. So he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness. And I saw a woman sit upon a scarlet colored beast, full of names of blasphemy, having seven heads and ten horns. And the woman was arrayed in purple with scarlet color and decked with gold and precious stone and pearls having a golden cup in her hand full of abominations and filthiness of her fornication and upon her forehead was a name written mystery babylon the great the mother harlots and abominations of the earth and i saw the woman drunk with the blood of the saints and with the blood of the martyrs of jesus and when i saw her i wondered with great admiration so revelation chapter 17 1 through 6 we have the beast his image the mark of the beast the dragon the harlot and the spirit of antichrist We've been discussing this at length. Um, the, the, I just want to state the image of the beast appears here as the names of blasphemy. And of course, the image of the beast is the causality of the mark of the beast as manifested by the seal of Satan in Revelation chapter 13, verse 15 through 17. So uh, we know that Revelation chapter 17, verse 1 through 6 is the final occupation of all lost souls in the kingdom of hell. Uh, arrayed in a graduating scale in accordance to their works and their proximity to Antichrist, the appearing of Antichrist in our world. So, Revelation 13, 15, and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. So here we have positive identification of the image of the beast. That is the singular form of satanic occupation within a man, as a man, and as an ambassador of Satan bearing the seal of Satan which appears in Revelation chapter 13, verse 16 and 17. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark of the name of the beast or the number of his name. And I personally believe here we have the, the appearance of a religious tax. First, we have the corporeal appearing of the image of the beast in verse 15 that has power to solicit the worship of death and kill every human being, all flesh that will not render service to it as it sold its soul to Satan. Uh, um, manifested by the seat of the harlot and that the seat of Satan in his heart for sexual and monetary control over the populations and so we have the corporeal appearing of the image of the beast and then we have the this listing the worship of death and forcing all flesh to worship it and render service to it on pain of death and then we have the image of the beast as the causality of the mark of the beast which appears I personally believe as a prohibition from buying or selling as a religious tax that is rendered into the beast's own pocket it's this is and thus this is thus is the seal of God is made manifest by by the the forcing all flesh to worship it on pain of death and render sexual and monetary control to it. So this is Revelation 13, 15 through 17. We know appears the seal of Satan. So we know the image of the beast is pouring out the spirit of Antichrist upon the children of God and the children of man. 1 John 2, 15 through 18. 1 Timothy 6, 10. Laboring now to destroy everyone in the house. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 1 and 2. Excuse me, it's 2 Corinthians chapter 5. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 1 and 2. For we know that if our earthly house of this tabernacle were dissolved, we have a building of God, a house not made with hand, eternal in the heavens. For in this we groan earnestly, desiring to be clothed upon with our house, which is from heaven. So this makes it absolutely crystal clear. We know 1 Corinthians chapter 6, 19 and 20. We have the appearing of... Know you not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, and which you have of God, and you are not your own, for you are bought with a price. Therefore glorify God in your body and your spirit, which are God's. 1 Corinthians 3. Know you not that your body is the temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you. And if any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy, for the temple of God is holy, which temple you are. So we have a, we have a home. We have a house. It's Our bodies just depicted in sacred scriptures as our homes. It's our homes for our spirits. And But if we, we are, if this earthly house is dissolved, we know we have an habitation in the manifest presence of God through the Son, Jesus Christ, and the love of God that flows through us as we cultivate righteousness and we magnify the glory of God in this world. So... 
We know the, liber the image of the beast is laboring now to destroy everyone in the house, the very manifestation of the presence of Satan. And here we have, after we have the, Revelation 13, 15 through 17, we have the corporal appearing of the image to the beast, which is the minister, the high priest, and the administrator of satanic occupation for all flesh. It's the, it's the, the, the image to the beast uh, is part of, of the beast power it is the beast for people that are within its environment and it is the manifestation of the worship it solicits the worship of death and it pours out the spirit of antichrist and it's the manifestation of death uh, being rendered upon all flesh that will not receive the mark of the beast rendering service to it in sexual its sexual and monetary desires as it's revealed as it's sold as the harlot sits upon it and it's sold its soul the, thus is revealed the reason why it sold its soul to satan was for sexual and monetary control of overall flesh on pain of death so the image of the corporal uh, a pairing of the image of the beast uh, appears in Revelation 13 15 it solicits the worship of death and it causes all flesh to worship it on pain of death verse 16 and 17 of Revelation 13 it causes the mark of the, be the beast to fall upon all flesh in the form of a religious tax and then Reve of course the very man manifest after the seal of Satan is made manifest in the fullness of its numbers and its operational capacity of those that have this have the seal as the image to the beast and this is the image of the beast once the full numbers of the image to the beast come to the full and those that it forces to receive the the the, the mark of the beast then we have the manifest appearing of antichrist into our world and thus we have verse revelation chapter 13 verse 18 and he and here is wisdom let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast for it is a number of a man and his number is 600 three score and six so thus we have we have the golden vessel that appears it appears as in uh, as a fraudulent manifestation of righteousness in a fraudulent cloak of righteousness which is its greatest militant tactical advantage over the cog cognizance of within man and we know that that satan cannot crown himself in the kingdoms of men until he has first seated himself as king in the hearts of all flesh and thus we thus the 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 the, the chronology of the uh the the scriptures that that are 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 presented to us in revelation chapter 13 verse 15 through 18 is the appearing of the image of the beast the the appearing of the mark of the beast and then the appearing of antichrist so 2 corinthians chapter 11 chapter 11 verse 13 through 15 we have the the ministers of satan which i personally believe the church of satan is not actually false apostate christianity it's actually the image to the beast because the image of the beast is who bears the seal of satan it's a civil power that has power that gets power obtains power to summarily execute flesh out on the street that will not render it sexual and monetary obedience and it for it's it doesn't say false apostate christianity does this it says the image of the beast is who causes the mark of the beast to fall upon all flesh. So we know the image of the beast is as it appears in in as the names of blasphemy within the beast is a civil power. While the, the harlot is an ecclesiastical power. She's an ecclesiastical power that's yet in her sins that resides in the multitude of lies and blasphemies against God as she fo also fornicates with the world. So 2 Corinthians chapter 11, uh, chapter 11 verse 13 to 15 uh, states oh I can't think of it right for such a false apostles deceitful workers transforming themselves into the apostles of Christ no, and no marvel for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light meaning a messenger of the gospel therefore it is no great thing if his ministers also be transformed as ministers of righteousness whose end shall be according to their works and thus they thus we have the image of the beast we know it solicits the worship of death and it is the embodiment of death for all that will not render sexual and monetary service to it so I personally believe the minister that appears here is first and foremost the image of the beast because we know the image of the beast is the high priest of Satan pouring out the spirit of Antichrist by the words that it speaks as it solicits the worship of death and it pours this out into everybody that it possibly can both directly and passively. So I personally believe this minister that appears here, this first and foremost applies to the image of the beast. It does not apply to false apostate Christianity as the woman, the harlot that is unfit yet in her sins and not fit to meet the husbandman at the second advent of Jesus Christ. So the image of the beast 
brings a, a cumulative fraudulent manifestation of righteousness. Revelation chapter 17, verse 17. For God hath put in their hearts to fulfill his will and to agree and to give their kingdom unto the beast until the words of God should be fulfilled. This makes it absolutely crystal clear. The image to the beast is one mind, one voice, and one singular spirit. One mind, one voice, and one singular spirit with with antichrist it speaks when you're talking to the image of the beast it's actually speaking the words of satan or the dragon or antichrist and this is what it's 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 bringing this 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 spirit of antichrist to capture all souls and render souls in nothing but service to it so this is it's doing this while it's soliciting the worship it's at, and while it's doing this it's actually soliciting the worship of death revelation 13:4 and they worship the dragon, which gave power unto the beast. And they worship the beast, saying, Who is I like unto the beast, who is able to make war with him. And he does this. The image of the beast does this among the children of God and the children of man. The very manifestation of satanic occupation, occupation bringing forth fruit unto death. Romans chapter 7, verse 5. For when we are in the flesh, the motions of sin, which were by the law, did work on our members to bring forth fruit unto death. In Romans chapter 6, verse 12 through 14. We have the dominion of death as it claims men captive. Uh, uh, in service to it and captivates their soul unto the mark of the beast. So while the while the image of the beast is is manifesting this cumulative fraud of, uh, cumulative fraudulent manifestation of righteousness, the harlot is simultaneously drinking in of the spirit of antichrist and disseminating the the cup of abomination so thus we have the the scarlet colored beast and the woman clothed with scarlet they have one mind one voice and one singular vision with antichrist now we know that they haven't perfected their union yet today but we know by god's judgments that's how their power will be per perfected um, we know that there's uh, the image of the beast is residing in judgment of hypocrisy upon all false apostate Christianity for telling lies against the glory of God. It's become cognizant of the multitude of lies that are being propagated by the Christian church. But we that's what the manifestation of Jesus Christ in the heavenly sanctuary making it. Uh, mediating between God and man. That's what he's there for, is to make men right before God that are actually laboring for close proximity to God and cultivating the fruits of righteousness and magnifying the glory of God. So it's more hypocrisy, if though the image of the beast has be, became cognizant that people are, are maybe have false doctrines um, and that, that the majority of the body of Christ is disseminating false doctrines, it still has no place to judge anybody because that would make, that would invalidate the ministry of Jesus Christ in the heavenly sanctuary. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 15 and 16. For we have not an high priest which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted like we are, yet without sin. Let us therefore come boldly unto the, unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. And I've been discussing in past lessons that every Christian denomination that is not teaching the three angels message of revelation chapter 14 is not fulfilling their obligation to their congregations and preparing their body of believers to receive the second advent of jesus christ because they don't understand the fulfillment of christ's ministry in the heavenly sanctuary the first angel makes it absolutely crystal clear that the judgment in heaven has begun. This is when Jesus Christ transfers from the holy place to the most holy place in the heavenly sanctuary. Babylon has fallen. It's in the process of being rejected by God holistically for her sins and blasphemy and fornicating with death. And the third angel makes it clear that the image of the beast, the beast and his image is made manifest, pouring out the spirit of Antichrist in our world. So the very, very manifestation of Jesus Christ in the heavenly sanctuary, when this work is finished, he sets the seal of eternal life upon the saints. And the saints are, are sealed. They're no longer cognizant of sin. They're no longer subject to death. And their bodies are no longer subject to corruption, and neither is their souls. And so the the meant the the impartation of mercy and grace is no longer necessary hebrews chapter 8 verse 10 through 12 to be imparted once jesus christ fulfills his ministry in the heavenly sanctuary setting the seal of eternal life upon the saints and then egressing the heavenly sanctuary and coming back to earth at the second advent for the rapture of the saints unto up to to meet him at the lord in the air and to the holy city 1 thessalonians 4 13 through 18 john chapter 14 verse 1 through 4 so setting the seal of eternal life upon the saints in and of itself will set 
the wicked and, ex and apart for exclusion with the mark of the beast. So the image of the beast to go around claiming that men are just just teaching the gospel of Jesus Christ because they're, they want to steal money and thus it has the right to go into these congregations as it's soliciting the worship of death and pouring out the spirit of Antichrist upon the children of God and the children of man and solicit a religious tax, it's tax to take satanic captivity of the churches of Christ is 100% fraudulent because that would make in, that would make void the very power of God cleansing men of their sin. I mean, know, know you not a wicked man that the good is that while you're residing in wickedness that the goodness of God leads you to repentance that would invalidate the total gospel of Jesus Christ if God was actually judging men as as hypocrites and I, this manifestation of judgment that resides in the image, image to the beast as it became cognizant of the multiplicity of lies in the body of Christ is manifestation of judgment that resides within itself its own hypocrisy as it labors to commit murders to gain sexual and monetary control over the entire population, seating itself in, in, in the congregations and the body of Christ to kill souls and to render, to, to make manifest its works and disseminate a fraudulent cloak of righteousness through the churches and the body of Christ as it is actually seated as a child of Satan within the within the churches of Christ. So the entire the entire manifestation and the, the abode of hypocrisy that the image of the beast is is proclaiming upon Christian churches that are not teaching the three angels message of Revelation chapter fourteen is totally fraud. Because if if any facet of it was true, it would invalidate the ministry of Jesus Christ in the heavenly sanctuary. God says, who are you to judge another man's servant to his own master? He will stand or fall. Judge not, and you shall not be judged. Condemn not, and you shall not be condemned. Forgive, and you shall be forgiven. God is in one business and one business only. And that is to magnify his glory in the earth and to bring and to separate a people unto himself so his son can receive them at the last day and that that in and of itself the seal of the seal of righteousness and the seal of eternal life in and of itself is enough to set the wicked and apart for exclusion so god is only in one business he's he's not in business to make money and he's not in business to to uh uh to to, I don't know. I can't even think of, of something. He's not. He's not in business. Business to 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 glorify worldly things. He's in business for one thing, and that's to to magnify the power of His Son Jesus Christ to save people from sins, to glorify Himself through the gospel of Jesus Christ, and to to separate a people unto Himself that He can seal for eternal life and rapture them up at the second advent of Jesus Christ. Okay. So the image of the beast is in a totally different business. It's in the business of satiating its own satanic desires. It's residing in hypocrisy that's 100% fraud upon the bodies of Christ. And as it does so, it solicits, it takes, and it, it actually promotes. It promotes and promulgates ecclesiastical fraud to civil powers to get legislative acts as it solicits organized crime to, to ecclesiastical powers to manifest its presence within the body of Christ to disseminate a fraudulent cloak of righteousness as the minister of Satan that is taking satanic administrative control on pain of death sexually and monetarily over the children of God and the children of man. So, so we know the ruin of man's habitation is the natural manifestation of the ruin that abides within man. Luke chapter 19 verse 41 through 44 where Jesus, whip, Jesus beheld Jerusalem and weeps over it because he knows that it's about to be destroyed and Jeremiah chapter 9 verse 6 thine habitation is in the midst of deceit through deceit they refuse to know me and Isaiah chapter 5 verse 8 and 9 of a truth many houses shall be desolate even great and fair without inhabitants so here we have we have and of course excuse me 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 1 and 2 so here we have we have the the natural manifestation of the ruin of all the cities of the world the vacancy of all the habitations because man's habitation was overthrown by Satan and that brings nothing but condemnation and death to the tabernacle of man so I, I want to stress to you guys anti to be anti-christian in its very fundamental nature, in its essence and fundamental nature, is to claim no accountability toward Holy Father God. Okay? 
Romans chapter 7, verse 12 through 14, Wherefore the law is holy, and the commandment holy, just, and good, was in that which is good that made death unto me. God forbid sin, that it might appear sin, working death in me by that which is good, that sin by the commandment might become exceeding sinful. So, in Revelation chapter 3, verse 20, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him and sup with him, and he with me. So, Anti, to be anti-Christian in, in its very most fundamental, essential nature is to, to claim, for man to claim, no accountability towards Holy Father God. And that's what the exactly what the image of the beast is doing as it's laboring. It's claiming, it's sitting in judgment of hypocrisy upon the, the congregations made righteous by God and laboring to incorporate the worship of death into the body of Christ. It is in and of itself declaring its own condemnation and as it labors for horizontal immunity to summarily execute flesh that will not render sexual and monetary control to it, it's, it's actually, it's declaring. To write uh, legislative laws to declare a people immune for prosecution for committing murders and sexually abusing God's children is the very declaration of people, everyone responsible, every both legislative and, and civilly and ecclesiastically, it's their declaration that they have the mark of the beast because we know it is appointed unto men once to die and after this cometh the judgment for all of sin and come short of the glory of God. The wages of sin is death and, and, uh, 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 Whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law, for sin is transgression of the law. So we know we're all sinners, and this is until the seal of God is made manifest, this is why we die. And for the image of the beast to claim that it has some sort of special power to sexually abuse God's children and solicit murders and sit in the, 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 the congregations of, 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 man, of men made righteous by God, even though they may, be, they may be promoting false doctrines and spewing false doctrines every day every week they still have no place because to claim that they have some sort of immunity for to to take satanic administrative control over the body of Christ is 100% fraudulent and it's a manifestation of the judgment that resides within them as holy father god sets the seal of eternal life upon the saints of righteousness and sets them in a part for exclusion it's a parallel we see the parallel happening here in revelation chapter 4, 14 verse 6 through 12 where we have the three angels message we have jesus christ entering the most holy place to perform the final work of judgment setting the seal of eternal life, cleansing the tabernacle of man from his sins and, and granting all the saints the right to eternal life and to, to raise up and to meet the Jesus Christ in the air at the second advent. Okay, so the manifestation of this is judgment, writing the image of the beast in parallel to this, found out about false doctrines, and all of a sudden decided it was going to solicit the worship of death so it could take sexual and monetary control over the entire population. So every we know everywhere it goes, everywhere it goes to legislators, to the general population, and to ecclesiastical leaders, every single person it's talking to, it's promising them more money. First and foremost, it's promising every single person it talks to. And we know the Bible makes it absolutely crystal clear that in Isaiah chapter 24, verse 21 and 22, every single person that receives the image of the beast and talks to them is, is abiding in, in a lie. And they're being, they're receiving the spirit of Antichrist and they're going into satanic prison and captivity to the image of the beast for their sins in the sight of the image of the beast. The image of the beast is rendering judgment of hypocrisy upon all the congregations that the majority of the body of Christ that is found out is not fulfilling its ministry by the manifestation of of their message and not incorporating the three angels message into their doctrine and preparing and that's the that's the manifestation of the harvest that's they're harvesting satan's children right in the body of christ they're harvesting satan's children as our our legislators by telling them that invalidating, attempting to invalidate democracy and the presence of God, incorporating the seal of Satan, the United States Constitution, so they can take satanic administrative control over the over the entire population, they're doing it to everybody. And 
the judgment that they're manifesting is the judgment of the mark of the beast that resides within the seal of Satan, that resides within their soul. As God is separating a people unto himself, he's setting apart these people simultaneously in exclusion for judgment. And the image to the beast is the church of Satan. He is the minister, administer, and mediator between all flesh and Satan. Hebrews chapter 3 verse 1 Romans chapter 3 verse 13 that raises up the church of Satan and its fraudulent manifestation of righteousness. Every single person he talks to, he's killing. He's killing with lies. Because, and, and the Bible makes absolutely crystal clear that nobody, whosoever loveth and maketh alive, will not enter into the holy city. And every and everybody, John 8, 44, every, that's, that's Revelation chapter 22. Revelation 22. Revelation 22, 15, and uh, uh, John chapter 8, verse 44. We know that people that do not abide in the truth abide in death. The Bible, this is 100% absolutely crystal clear. So that anybody that does not, t every, anybody that democracy is the manifestation of Holy Father God in fullness residing in the governments of this world. The governments of this world that reside in democracy bring forth all the fruits of this of this world. And it's the manifestation of, of God residing there and disseminating righteousness amongst the populations. We know that once the democracies of this world, once the seal of Satan is incorporated in the democracies of this world, every single economy in this world is going to fail, I personally believe. Every, uh, excuse me, Ezekiel chapter 7, verse 20 through, 22 through 27. And so, that's anti-Christian. It's anti-Christian in its fundamental nature is to claim no accountability towards Holy Father God. And that's the purpose of incorporating the seal of Satan into the United States Constitution. So the masses claim no accountability vertically towards Holy Father God. And that's the fundamental and essence of what the spirit of Antichrist poisoning the blood of people. That's what it's there for, and that's the natural manifestation of its presence within the blood of the masses. So, the image of the beast solicits an illicit relationship with in all the world with the children of God and the children of man. Revelation chapter 16, verse 14. He goes, he goes to the kings of the earth and he goes to the entire population. The image of the beast comes bearing nothing but stolen treasures. Ezekiel chapter 28, verse 1 through 10, where we have the, 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 death, the death decree of upon Antichrist and we have a parallel of the jewels of Satan as they're evaluated. And this is, this is and the Bible states that, that as Antichrist captures people's souls, it's actually lifted up. And it's lifted up to the, for the appearing of Antichrist that claims that he is God and that he has right and that that people willfully chose to serve him and that his way is better and that he should not be cast into the lake of fire after at the final phase of judgment. So we have the parallel in Ezekiel and in, in Antichrist's death warrant, Ezekiel chapter twenty-eight, verse one through ten. We have the parallel of the jewels of Satan as they appear arrayed upon the harlot and as the image of the beast cast all the peoples of the world and force them to receive the mark of the beast and take their place in the kingdom of hell. Titus 2.10, not prolonging, but show, showing all good fidelity, but that they may adorn the doctrine of our God and our Savior in all things. So the image of the beast comes bearing nothing but stolen treasures, demanding service, obedience, and capitalization to Satan on pain of death. Revelation chapter 13, verse 7 and 8. The image of the beast is the imaginations, affections, and purpose of Satan incorporated within man. Revelation chapter 13, verse 11 through 14. We've gone over numerous times. Thus accumulative efforts of the beast taking up its residence in the kingdom of hell declare the children of God and man. Hell declares to the children of God and man, we take everything from you by the power of satanic criminal psychopathology rendered in service and made manifest in judgment. Revelation chapter 18, verse 9 through 14. The image of the beast is incapable of producing a harvest in the kingdom of God. And thus he comes to solicit the children of God, the children of man, with death and worship bearing nothing but stolen jewels. Philippians chapter 1, verse 9 through 11. We know the image of the beast. He doesn't, he doesn't receive anything whatsoever. People that are soliciting the worship of death and pouring out the spirit of Antichrist and trying to, laboring to kill the children of God's 
ch children's flesh so they can they can get other people to talk to them and they can disseminate power horizontally we know these people don't receive anything from holy father god philippians chapter 1 verse 9 through 11 makes it absolutely crystal clear the only thing they have is the written word and jewels of righteousness that are given to men made righteous by God and they they possess these in written form and they take these they learn it by rote and then they take it they're not they're never cultivating anything they don't cultivate any fruits of righteousness what they have is they they've captured by men made righteous by God they learn it by rote it's just like a dog or a goat it's just a bunch of instruction sets and they take it and they learn how to manipulate false apostate Christianity to allow the the body of death to seat within the congregations until that they can actually start executing people out on the streets and then then threatening to kill people in the body of Christ to take over the religious tax that they promoted amongst the populations or amongst the body of Christ. So the image of the beast is the very ambassador of Satan, the beginning of death for all flesh. James chapter 1, verse 13 through 15. Stealing the harvest of an entire world and service to Satan. Revelation chapter 15, verse 1 through 4. Revelation chapter 17, verse 7 and 8. And it's invalidating democratic union in the sight of the beast and the sight of the beast, which is his master. Revelation chapter 3, 20. And it's only laboring for service and capitalization on pain of death ecclesiastes 8 verse 8 and thus we have the the total evacuation of the spirit of grace once the image of the beast imparts the seal of satan within the united states constitution god raises up and says that's enough and judgment comes because we know the image of the beast jeremiah chapter 4 verse 23 through 31 we know that they'll sexually abuse the children of god in the congregations and they'll train them this appears to me to be sexual abuse of god's children and training to commit murder so that but that's the manifestation of judgment that's the manifestation of the seal of satan that resides in their heart and you know the bible says if the blind lead the blind every plant which my heavenly father hath not planted shall be rooted up if the blind lead the blind both shall fall into the ditch okay and the image of the beast is really, it's, I mean, it's, it can write all the, the petitions and crayons that it wants to, you know, it's just, the thing is, it's, it's greatest power is to actually, to solicit the worship of death and to, to labor, to manifest, um, uh, threats to kill as many human beings as it possibly can to take to render people into captivity so it can actually um, force people in democracy to render sexual and monetary control service to it as it as it labors to fulfill its ministry within the sight of Satan as a child of Satan and so I mean it's basically uh, it's just and it it's just it's perpetuating fraud it knows it's fraud and anybody it knows that anybody that follows it both ecclesiastically and civilly is is a fool that's going to fall into the ditch it's going to fall into the pit of destruction that it's setting up for people to fall into and thus it makes a big joke out of what it's doing and it's all just a big joke and we we really weren't, weren't trying to overthrow the United States government don't try to ever do anything to us and put us in jail because because we, we would never we would never murder anybody's children or sexually abuse anybody's children or steal anybody's money it was all just a big joke we just put it on to see if we could get away with it and you know we wrote all these petitions in crayon and you know it's just it's just it was just something to do do because we did you know as we were poisoning the population with the spirit of antichrist it was just something for us to do you know let the if, if the blind lead the blind let both fall into the ditch you know it was just just don't take it seriously it was just something that we were having fun with with the with the federal government so but anyway we know nothing can be further from the truth the image of the beast is dead serious it's actually soliciting the worship of death and it's it's laboring now to kill god's children so it can manifest sexual abuse and steal people's money in the united states of america and it's la actually laboring to overthrow democracy by by incorporating the seal of Satan into the United States Constitution. So, Jeffrey Leone, if you're edified by this program, please hit the like button, subscribe to this channel, receive notifications of future installments. And remember, you can come to the throne room of God today directly and receive your healing directly if your abiding in mercy and grace is manifested by Matthew chapter 13, verse 10 through 15. Thank you.